The first step is to raise the ram and locate your sample and lower the ram slightly and then measure out the mounting compound. Go ahead and pour that in. And reduce the ram and clean the residual off there a little bit. Screw on the bannet cover. I like to screw it all the way down and then back it off about an eighth of a turn. Now let's go ahead and check our settings. Our heating temperature will be 200 degrees Celsius. The cooling temperature, if we select temperature for cooling, will be 35 degrees Celsius. The heating time, once we reach temperature, will be 10 minutes. The cooling time, if we press time here, let's go ahead and do that, will be 12 minutes. So we're all set to go. So just hit the start button. It lifts up the ram and the temperature will start to heat up here. Once we reach temperature, you'll see this light will click over to this light. So now we have a holding time of 600 seconds because we set it for 10 minutes. Presently we have the temperature or the cooling cycle to cool to a specific temperature. Before this counts down to zero, if we change this to time, now it will show how much time we have total before the cycle will end. So we got eight more seconds here. So now we'll cool until this reaches zero. As soon as the time counts down to zero, or the temperature is reached, a buzzer will sound to signify completion of the cycle. Lower the ram. Remove the bannet cover. Place over on the side to keep from burning yourself. Complete amount. First of all, let's just go ahead and remove the bannet cover and set that to the side for a moment. I guess we'll put it right there. The next step I like to do is I like to bring the ram up, go ahead and remove the lower ram, and let's just uh, reduce the, bring the piston back down there. Now there's three set screws that are located around the, the mold here. Let's go ahead and loosen those. Now the mold assembly should just pull right out then. See the set screws are just going over this groove here to keep the mold from being pushed out when the mold assembly is removed. So let's go ahead and remove that. Put that to the side. The next step is to remove the upper ram. Now this is reverse threaded so you, to remove it you have to turn it clockwise. Now to reassemble just reverse those steps. Let's go ahead and screw that back on. Now one thing you want to do is after you tighten this is you want to make sure that this moves freely. Otherwise the bannet cover will be could be hard to put on and to remove. Uh, so this just gives a little extra play on the top there. Next step is to go ahead and 
slide the mold assembly in. I like to twist it a little bit there, that helps it go down. Then I like to bring the piston up and go ahead and screw on the lower ram. And in this case, what I do is I just, with light pressure here, you want to make sure that, that this is not moving up and down. If this were to move up and down, the whole mold assembly, then you may need to do an adjustment, uh, which uh, is explained in another video. So at this point, let's go ahead and tighten up these set screws. You don't have to tighten them very much, you just want them to be in contact with the inside the groove. So let's To program the terror press, press the set button. The first screen is the holding temperature. Let's change that to 200 degrees. Press set. Capital CT would be the temperature is cooled to when selected. HT is the holding time once temperature is reached. Let's change that to 10 minutes. Lowercase CT is the time if the time button is selected for cooling. Alt is the length that the buzzer will sound. SC is the hysteresis of the heating cycle. There are three cooling options with the uh, TP7001. The first is cooling to temperature. The second is cooling for a specific amount of time. And the third is manual cooling.